we're downstairs in the shop. We're going to be painting this 150 inch screen over into a advanced ambient light rejection black Phoenix um, 19. This is going to be used for outside. I'm also going to be actually adding some of that special coating to it um, to see exactly how the coating is going to be the weather outside. Um, we're going to have that attached to probably tomorrow or probably tonight. We'll probably attach it to the frame outside and we'll be good to go. All right, so um, let me go get my cat and shut up. Hey, cut it out. And then uh, we'll go from there. If I'm not in the present where he's at, he goes into a meow fit. I don't need to hear that on camera. All right, so uh, let's uh, get this started. And uh, I'll try to get this done because I want to make some fish for the day to eat. A couple fish sandwiches so I can relax for the rest of the day. So this is also going to be done for a company demonstration also too. Now let me get something I can use to prop up here. I got some tape or something. I'm leaving this right here. Like so. It's be nice to put it right here. Uh, let me get a canister or something. Let me just get my fan. I can prop it like uh I know for a fact the fan is going to weigh more than the stand. I'm going to put this up here right before I have an avalanche of craziness going on. i got my speakers over here that I want to adjust right. There we go. It's right off the way about. What do you deal with the fan? Why is it so lazy? Stay. All right. That'll work. All right, so we're going to be using the five gallon bucket of our Black Phoenix. This is what I use to paint for all my customers from their products. Make these big containers. This used to be the color shifting blue screen. We're going to convert this over to a black. And then once we convert it to a black, we're going to take it outside, string it up, and we're going to hit it with that special coating, and we should be good to go from there. All right, so this is going to be a short video because it's going to take long to do this. Now, as I said before, if you're painting a screen, uh, real quick, you don't want to use this material right here, the PVC material, because this will basically crack and peel. Our surface doesn't marry well with it, so you can't use this, but you want to use these right here. These are, I think I have them in here. These are what the projection screen looked like before we painted it. I got a hundred, I got a 250 inch in here and 150 inch in here for demonstrations. This is what you want to use right here for your screens right here. This will paint out perfectly right here. And I can see how this is. You want to actually, when you paint the screen, you want to put two coats on here. First coat, doesn't make a difference what kind of paint it is. First coat, let it dry. Second coat, let it dry. Then you hit it with our product and you're done. Don't worry about the board, paint the whole thing. Because that's how I do it. And this is what happens if you use this material right here. This is what happens to it. It'll crack and peel. Do not paint this on PVC of any kind. You want to go with the fabric material with something that's breathable. Now, this has been painted multiple times over and over again. I don't have to prep the screen. to the fact that it has multi layers on it, so I'm good. All right, so let's get this started. I can finish up and I can go eat. And every day, that roller is all you're going to need.
Now, something I forgot to add real quick. Uh, when you're painting your screen for the first time, you want to make sure you have plastic under the screen because this has already been painted multiple times, so I don't have to worry about any other paint seeping through. For the first time you paint it, you are going to have paint seep through the screen, so you want to make sure you have plastic underneath of it. And you want to make sure when you put the plastic underneath of it, you make sure you tape the plastic ends down because the last thing you want is for wind to blow up, blow over top of your screen. It could be dirt on the plastic. It could blow up and land on your screen. It could actually put dirt on your screen. Make sure you sweep your driveway out of where you're going to put it at. If you're going to be painting this flat up to the ground. As I said before, you want to make sure there's plastic underneath the screen the first time you paint it. Due to the fact you don't want to make sure that whatever's going to seep through, you don't want to go into your floor or your driveway and make sure those ends are taped down. Pretty much it.
That's it. Done. Once all that's finished up, take it outside, we string it up. We hit it with that special coating, that heightener, and that's it. We're done. Freaking unbelievable. I have not hit. Hold on for a minute. If I do that, maybe I, I broke a record of mine. <sighs> yes! I've actually broken one of my records. Not finishing the screen on time. Every time I come down here and paint the screen, I always get paint on me, on my socks. I always walk in the paint. Every time. This will be the first time this year I have not literally walked in the paint. I always do it every single time. I walk in and get paint all over the bottom of my socks. Every time. I heard you paint the screen without touching. Nope, didn't get anything. Woohoo! Awesome. That's why I was trying to go around the screen without touching anything. Yeah, so we're done. That's it. Throw the fan on, Rick. So, this is going to go outside under the deck for right now. I then need something to do outside. Got that big yard out there. Got to do something with it. I got to call people to come and cut my grass again. And once this is all coated, we hang this up. And then over there, sitting over there on the table, we got the special coating waiting. We'll bring the paint cannon out. That won't be live. Uh, that demonstration has to be pre-recorded because Wi-Fi doesn't pick up. Once you hit a certain area out there, it doesn't pick up until I get the other boosters put down here. I'm a little about one booster down here. That should give me a range out here from somewhere. No problem. So uh, we're going to coat this with a special coating. Uh, we're going to take, uh, I'll take one of the Christie's out and we'll watch a movie outside. So as I said before, it's a recap. This right here, this is pretty cheap. It's like 20 bucks right here. Don't paint this. Don't ever paint this. We tried this. This is more of a, not a, not full polyester, but it's a bit of a polyester vinyl blend. Still didn't work too well. This is the results we got from it. Didn't do too well. This is not good for storage. Um, what you want to do is you want to go with fabric only because it's the fabric screens we use. There's a place on, um, on Amazon we buy these from. Get them for a real cheap price. Um, I got a 200 in here. I got a 250 in here. And the 250 cost me 125. That right there cost me. Ugh, forget my stands. Oh, I can hooked on something. That cost me 48 dollars. That's 150 inch right there. I may pick up 180 inch. 180 inch is about 60 bucks. So I might get try to get as many as I can and do different sizes. So we can hook them up out there. Who? So we're done. That's it. And like I said, when you paint the surface, you want to make sure you put in two uh, coats of paint. It doesn't make a difference what color the paint is, what kind of paint is. Get the cheapest you can possibly can. Uh, paint over the first time, let it dry. Hit the second time, let it dry, paint over the product, you're done. This one didn't have to go through that process because the screen was painted multiple times, so it's already good to go. All right, well, that being said, I'm going to turn my fan on upstairs. Let this dry. And then later on, we'll be outside for the pre for the pre recorded. Well, I'll be outside for the pre recorded to spray the screen down. And that's it. I put the top on, everything's good. Blah, 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 blah. Wash my hands upstairs. Come here, stuff something to eat. I'm done. There's Phantom over there for the Phantom. Phantom. Phantom's going back downstairs because we don't need to, we have to use Phantom anymore. What's in this bag? Chances are it's probably material for screens. Yep, material for screens. That's what it is. All right, so that's basically about it. It's time for me to go eat. Wash my hands up, get something to eat, and just relax for the day. We still have this screen right here to do because remember, we painted this screen, was painted with the coating. On this side, we coated this screen right here. This is to restore this screen right here. This screen is Nova 17. We coated that with that restore technology, but also with the restore technology, it has a white heightener for black screens, which we did the demonstration over here. We did that demonstration on that one. This is the gamer screen right here that's sitting out there, right? That's my gamer screen. We are going to be doing a demonstration with the cloth again outside on that screen a little bit more earlier in the day. Because last time I didn't get out there until like 7.50. And that was too late. I want to get there where we had some light out there. So I'm going to do that demonstration again tonight. And that's it. I'm powering everything down in here. And uh, 
I can show you the pre-recording. All right, with that being said, thank you for your time. I have to go. Hey, Taco. Taco. What's up, buddy? Unfortunately, he will not be outside with me to watch the movie. All right, got to go, and God bless.